In this video, we'll explain how to install the Evolution Water Utility Meter Sensor. Installation of the metering sensor couldn't be easier. It simply straps to the side of the meter, then plugs into the module. That's basically it. The Evolution sensor works on many types of water meters, including positive displacement, multi-jet, piston, or compound. Compound meters feature two dials, while all other types have just one. So compound meters will require two sensors, one for each dial, and Evolution can handle that. And the dials on all these types of meters can be analog, with round dials and indicator needles, or they could be digital, with LCD readout screens. In the meter sensor kit, you'll find sensor cables, sensor module, cable ties. Installation instructions and other supporting documents are included to help you along. Now, let's talk a little bit about how and where to mount the metering sensor. First, we'll need to find the best possible location. There are a few factors to consider when installing to get the most accurate readings. You'll need to know which type of meter you have, single or compound. The sensor module requires constant power to a standard 110 volt AC electrical outlet. Each module has a four foot power cord, so plan accordingly or arrange for power to be installed near the meter location. So while the sensor module must be located near a power source, the sensor cable is long and can extend out to the meter, even in another room or to a remote location such as an irrigation access hatch up to 200 feet away. Evolution sensor cables are waterproof and can be buried safely in sand or soil. The sensor head must mount to the meter itself and in a specific area on the meter, and I'll describe that a little later. After the sensor is added using the Evolution app, the app will then walk you through the simple process of calibrating your sensor, which will include capturing a photo of the meter and entering the current meter reading. So make sure you have your iPhone or Android phone handy during setup. You may also need a flashlight to activate light-sensitive digital meter dials, and the flashlight on your phone will do the trick. For the first step, we'll mount the sensor cable to the meter. For single utility meters, only one sensor is needed. For compound meters, two sensors are needed. For single sensor meters, place the flat side of the sensor end on the collar of the meter dial and secure it with a cable tie. For the most secure fit, make sure the surface is clean and dry, and then point the sensor head straight down and secure it. Then, secure the sensor lead cable with cable ties so the sensor can't be knocked off the meter or moved in any way. Continue securing the sensor lead all the way back to the sensor module to prevent any damage to the cable. For compound meters that have two dials, two sensors are needed. The goal here is to mount the sensors as far away from each other as possible to avoid any conflicting signals. The best way to do that is to mount each one on opposite sides of their dials. For example, mount one sensor at 9 o'clock on one dial and mount the other sensor at 3 o'clock on the other dial. Next, we'll mount the green sensor modules. These modules relay the meter usage information from the sensors to the gateway, then onto the Evolution app. There are a few ways you can mount the unit. You can attach them to walls with screws, or you can use the cable ties to attach them to insulated pipes, brackets, or hangers. The modules are splash-proof, but not waterproof, so make sure they're mounted in a dry location. They also include electronics and small internal antennas, so don't mount them to hot or metal surfaces. If you have a meter with a single sensor, just plug the cable connector into one of the female connectors on the green sensor module. It doesn't matter which connector you plug into, the system will sort it all out. And if you have a compound meter, the two cables will plug into the two female connectors on the green sensor module. Again, it doesn't matter which connector you choose. Once the sensor leads are plugged into the module, you're ready to power it up. Just plug the power cable into an outlet and the system will automatically activate and begin running through some setup procedures. For the next steps, you'll need your iPhone or Android phone with the Evolution app installed. First, you'll need to add the sensor in the Evolution app. It's a simple step-by-step -step process and the app makes it very easy. The app will ask for information such as meter type and whether your meter measures by cubic feet or gallons. Then, once the sensor has been added to the app, you can begin the calibration process which involves taking pictures of the meter display and entering the values into the app. Some digital meters have solar power displays that turn off when not needed. If your meter has a blank digital display, just shine your phone's flashlight onto the display to wake it up, and you should see the readings display clearly. You'll notice that your Evolution app will automatically turn your flashlight on when you're ready to capture the photo. On the Evolution app, you should see that the meter sensor has been recognized, and it'll ask you to take a picture of the meter dial and upload it to Evolution. After you take the photo, the app will ask you to enter the meter reading value from the photo you took, so it's important that the photo clearly captures the meter reading values. Units are typically given in cubic feet, but some meters report in gallons. This unit of measurement is needed in the app for calculations, so it's important to know which one your meter uses. 
Then, a short time later, the app will tell you to take a second picture of the dial and it'll upload that as well and repeat the same process. These pictures give Evolution a snapshot of your meter usage between the two photographs and it will calibrate the app accordingly. And with that, your Evolution water utility meter sensor is good to go. If needed, you can continue to other Evolution installation instruction videos. Thanks for watching.